Okay. This is interesting. Why? What is this crystal on her head? Or is that just who I'm looking at? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, what is that special crystal? All right, we can't get into Mythic Path yet. All right, interesting party we have here. So she is, she's a fighter? Just a fighter fighter? Sorry, so maybe we don't, maybe I give her a long sword then. Sure. And I'm gonna save my bracers because just in case they, I don't want, I don't want this guy to leave my party in like a minute and take, take my bracers with him. She can have padded armor. Uh, that's fine if we lose that. All right, let's save it. Oh, Amelia Tyler was the, oh, she was, she was Malady and Divinity. Okay, so I know, I know her. So that's Winduog. Okay, nice. All right, so the map. There is a treasure over here. Some loot in the corner. That's loot in the corner. Three pearls. It's a good thing to have. So I didn't actually get the sword. The, the energy around the sword, right? Just kind of coalesced around my arm. Our time has come. Does that represent itself somewhere on my character, I wonder? Protection from evil. I don't think that shows up anywhere, right? No? Okay. Not that I see. Unless it's the protection from evil. All right, gang, let's go. Get across. The mongrel did it. Most of the game's mechanics are based on the rules of tabletop RPG Pathfinder, which uses dice for determining outcomes of actions. The most, okay, blah, 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 blah. Trying to get over the rubble, your character Lan got the result of 20. The result is the sum of the dice roll. Okay, checks difficulties, tw okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just explaining how the pen and paper game works. There. Oh, I got a Light of Angels ability? Is it just on my hot bar or something? I stand ready. Oh yeah. Light of the angels. All creatures within the 20 foot burst centered on the caster. You summon a soothing light, warming the hearts of your allies and obscuring the vision of your enemies. Every ally in 20 feet gets one temporary hit point for one hour and the enemies become dazzled for 1d4. I love dazzling my enemies. Is this like as many times as I want? I don't know. That's pretty cool though. Only one hit point. It's one temporary hit point. Yeah, what the hell? That's a giant. That's a big bug. Open your heart to me. Okay. Thank you. I like how we can chill this close and it doesn't start fighting us yet. Through. The light take I you. I always did what was right. Therefore, I became righteous. The Doesn't heartbeat quickens. Ooh, there's two of them. Because I am righteous. We're dealing with healthcare issues. Um. All right, she's got her rapier. Let's delay. Ooh. 
All right, that only did two damage. Okay, I got I got nervous. She can't charge. All right, just go ahead and get in go range. Go for their hearts. Open your heart to me, baby. Ugh, did I mess up again? Yeah, you messed up. Dino uh, Thunderlung says, healthcare, ugh, my condolences. Those people are rigid idiots. Yeah, I had, uh, I was going in for a heart procedure yesterday in the hospital and they canceled it last minute the night before because my insurance went, nah, we're not covering it. Yeah. Um, of course, I gave her a sword. Can we still shoot it this round? Point blank shot. They'll beg me to stop. No. Strike as one. Oh man, I exploded and spider goo was all over my face, and I think I ate some. Ew. Why'd they not know before that? That's a mystery. Somebody messed up somewhere. Okay, what do we got? We got, uh, oh, a bazaar. In the Harry Potter movies, if you recall, if you remember correctly. Isn't this like, uh, like a lump of something found in like a goat's stomach? Am I wrong? Isn't this something grown in like the stomach of another an of an animal? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that is. <laughs> uh, caustic mold. Oh, is it from eating hair? Is that what it is? Okay, it, but it does. It goes in. It come, it's inside you, right? <laughs> and a fairy mushroom. Okay. The least gross thing there was a mushroom. All right, so over here we've got loot. We march ahead. Coal, gold, another scroll of inflict wounds, and bone meal. Get across this mobility. All right, we'll come back to that. Yet another obstacle. Oh, okay. Fly. Fly, you fools. Oh, and a spitting giant centipede. I'll rip you apart! Ooh, yeah, that was a mess. No match for me. Okay, Anivia. It's so weird that Anivia is not really in your party. Isn't that kind of strange? They'll beg me to stop. Oh, we got another one. Ooh, he spit. Watch out, they spit. Point blank shot. This ability forces you to come into 30 foot range of the enemy you are attacking to ensure you gain the bonuses. Okay, got it. Perfect strike. Free action. You must declare that you're using this feat before you make your roll. You can roll your attack twice and take the higher result. You may attempt a perfect attack once per day for every four levels. Ah, okay. All right. So I don't think we need a perfect shot right in a second. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. You did one damage. You're a fly wounder. Fly wounder. I'll cut you wide open. Fly misser. 
It's better to be a fly wounder than a fly misser. There's several kinds depending on the matter that's indigestible. Okay, so a Vizor. I knew it grew inside people. I knew it was some gross thing. All right, our paladin, Sila. The inheritor. Guide I like Sila a lot. Blade. Sila's pretty cool. Oh, roll the one. See, we've had two critical hits. There's our first critical miss. No match for me. And another critical miss. Two in a row. Perfect. You won't survive me. Oh, he gets to shoot twice? Wait, he gets two attacks at level one? That's OP. The spirits demand your blood. Huh. Okay. Every attack during combat entails the following. Okay, yeah, this is just showing you the numbers, how it all works. Armor class. So yeah, if you don't like know the base rules of Pathfinder slash D&D 3.5, it'll go over all that for you. All right, there was nothing over here, right? This is just the abyss. All right, so far so good. Feather, masterwork light crossbow, gold coins and bone meal. Masterwork light crossbow, eh? You don't say. She has no missile weapon, right? He's got no melee weapon. I don't know. Um, there we go. It's fun talking about boring medical stuff, right, Otters? I know, when uh, we have all these glowing mushrooms around. You know what I'd rather talk about? What? How, I, how last night at 10 o'clock at night, I had the biggest hunch to make chocolate chip zucchini bread. Weird. So I, I've never had that thought at 10 o'clock at night. Really? Not even once. My entire life. Never once. <laughs> I, I honestly never made it, but we have zucchini, we have chocolate chips, and I'm like, hey, why not? Let's try it. Zucchini Let's and do chocolate it. chips. Let's do something. Let's try it. Yeah. This is your first time watching and you're here for the Pathfinder goodness. Thank you for being patient. I know we're playing a little slow right now. Um, we just have a lot of IRL things going on this week that just can't wait. So she, Azaria is helping me. That's my girlfriend. She's helping me uh, make phone calls to doctor's offices and insurance companies. And so she has to check in with me. And Our path leads on. Stuff like that. So, but thank you. That is quite a discovery. You'll oh, damn. A fine trophy. All right, here we go. All right. Does he really get two attacks per turn? Let's just try that again. And you can't shoot from there? Oh, over here, times two. How does he... How does that work? Yeah, he gets two attacks. It's pretty groovy. Endure this. <laughs> okay. He hits both times. He did 10. Nice. Uh I'll rip you apart. Okay. Now yeah, there we go. The combination. You are today's sacrifice. Into the fray. Nice of my character to go last. Attack. Oh, and miss. Make every strike count. <laughs> okay, he missed twice that time. They'll beg me to stop. That's a Zen archer ability, I think, like flurry of blow, but flurry of blows. Okay. Yeah, I'm really 
I've never had any of my players play a monk. I've never played a monk, so I have no idea how it works. Avuld or Avuled, thanks for following. Oh, we got a comma. Interesting. Comma, 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 chameleon. All right. A pearl. Masterwork greatsword. Oh, come to Papa. Oh, no. Well, I have this. Cold iron great axe. I'm going to keep that. I'll keep that. We could get that to the paladin, though. I eh, will keep her as more tanky. Um, how can I sort? Sort by. There's no sort by when I got it. Interesting. All right. So the comma could that be? This does one d six. This also does one d six. Are you proficient in this? You are. It's an exotic. Um, Zen archers are proficient with longbows, shortbows, composite longbows, and composite shortbows in addition to their normal weapon proficiencies. Monks are proficient in the comma. Okay, sweet. Let's take that. There is a sort by date. Where is that? Ah, okay, thank you date from oldest to newest so the newest stuff is down over there perfect thank you uh our client says don't forget zen archer gets its wisdom bonus added to bow so wisdom is good okay sweet i can see that i may have to turn on automatic level ups we'll see just for that reason because some of my characters uh or some of the the uh, people in my party, I'm not so sure how to level them up, but we'll see. I will guide us. We do have to go back to that other area too and try to cross. Should I do that now? Oh, what just happened? Oh, that was weird. It took control. Ooh. When do I glances at Lan, who is fixing his slipped bowstring and quickly walks over to you, her cat-like eyes glow from beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you, don't show the light of heaven to Sul. Uh, Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. I thought... You consider the mongrels to be great warriors. Don't you want to save the kids lost in the maze? Um, don't you want to save the kids lost in the maze? I do want to, but I'm not going to risk the future of the tribe for the sake of a few stupid kids. Chief Saul is hesitant and for good reason. He also understands how dangerous this is for the tribe. Land's the only one who benefits from these childish games of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to, and find them, or whatever's left of them, without any heroics relying on myself, risking only my life. You and your friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together and find the way out to the surface. But, but Lan, it, Lan is uh, sure that the light should be shown to the Mongols. Lan. He wants to play the hero. His, I, his first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? To me, it sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to heart and follow where he leads. I thought you considered the Mongols to be great warriors. The descendants of great warriors. I believe that my people are worthy of greatness. That we are strong and can do many things. And that we were chased down here. We scared people. But it's one thing to go hunting in the caves and another to fight in the shield maze. I've been there. I've spent my whole life training so I could make it through all the way to the end. There were more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple of monsters when there's a whole world out there waiting for us? That's what we thought, but we weren't prepared. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's cunning and full of traps. 
It's dark as the primordial night, and if you close your eyes and listen, you hear whispers right behind you, and soft singing in the distance that seems to rise and fall with the beating of your heart. I had to learn from my friends' mistakes. I had to step over their bodies and go further. I don't want to have to do that again. And it will happen again if a crowd of ill-prepared fighters burst into the maze with no idea what they're doing. All because Lan believes there's a glowing sword will solve all our problems. All right, I'll think about it. Let's go. Don't show the chief the light and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface. I swear it. Yeah, the only bad news... Only bad news there with that plan. Leaving a location. Click this icon. Okay, cool. I don't want to leave, though. The only, the only problem with that is I know you're neutral evil. I know you're neutral evil. And I know that I'm playing my character as a good guy, so I don't think we're going to listen to you. Nanny, nanny, poo, poo. All right, we're going all the way back over here. Whoever mentioned Flurry of Blows, I think you created a new move. Flurry of Bows, says Motorhead. I like that. Thorny Subject, do you think you're going to be sufficiently undecided about your own character? Yeah, me too. Me too. So where was that? Oh, here we go. Save, because I'm a save scummer. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. <laughs> Wait, isn't that Lan saying that? <laughs> I'm liking him more and more. Ooh, what is this? Small Earth Elemental. Oh, well, okay. Where do you want me? I will not falter. Do not fear! Do not waver! I got a free attack in here. I was successful in the search. Smashed. No match for me. Sila. Probably not gonna be alive at the end, but we'll delay. Swap the crossbow. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. No glory without risk. Or is that a surprise round or something? Okay. We shall overcome. Nice. Oh, I like how they sizzle when they die. Sizzler. Wand of Cure Light Wounds, because we explored over here. And 35 gold. I like gold! Wand of Cure Light Wounds. Okay, how many charges? 15. Okay. That's not too shabby. Only you deserve my obedience. Only you can prevent forest fires. So tab to select everybody. How do I select everybody again? Besides drawing a, a box around them. Backspace? That's really weird. All right, hold on. Let's change that. Options, controls. Select all. Uh. Finding is occupied. I don't know what it's occupied by. There we go. See, I have, I have right now, I have highlight objects select all 
and my map on my mouse now. Yeah. Flurry of bows has already been coined by Critical Role. The second kid. That's right. Here's your monk bow. Wow. You know a lot about Critical Role. Holy cow. Hmm. Godspeed. All right. So I'm assuming there's nothing else that we missed. That was a different type of flurry of bow, though. <laughs> Jonathan, I just realized that. That's funny. Flurry of bows, different kind of bow. I love these environments down here. Long girl. Long girl. Meet the mongrels. Uplanders? They should have stayed on the surface. They've no business coming down here. If you can hunt, you're welcome to stay. Let us plant our ancestors and bring our children back home safe to us. Okay. Fishing! They got fishing! Would you look at that, Uplanders? Let us press on. All right, go meet the meet them. Your first impression of the mongrel village is of a squalid dump with the odors to match. Unblinking, glowing eyes watch you from the gloom, and deformed shadows slope between the huts. You see some mongrels gutting white, eyeless fish, while others are repairing fishing nets. All the signs of a normal village life, but tense expectation hangs in the air. Chief Sol, a heavy-set, aged mongrel, slowly shuffles his way towards you. The hair on his head grows in limp, wispy strands, and his face has a distinctly rat-like appearance, which, with pronounced teeth, and you hear a rattling sound in his chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. This guy's a real treat, huh? Uplanders? Uh, end of time, sir, upon us indeed. Chief Sol, we found the angel's sword, and we found the one who can wield it, land points at you. He had a vision, and now the angel's sword, together with the light of heaven, are somehow inside him. Gather the tribe, anyone who can hold a weapon. The young ones are still alive, and we can go save them. Chief Sol raises his hand with ragged, broken fingernails. Ah, uh, Lan, always dreaming, always talking. You're too hasty, too hasty for your own good. It's going to get you in trouble. Sol eyes, eyes you up and down. An uplander with the light of heaven. That's too good for us. Our kind don't have good things happen. There's always a catch. Lan trusts his people because he likes to believe. Isn't that right, Lan? I'm the chief. I don't work on faith. Show the light. Okay, dialogue options restricted by Mythic Pass. Throughout the game, you will occasionally encounter color option markers. Uh, color options marked as associated with a specific path. These are dialogue branches that embody the spirit of a particular manifestation of Mythic Powers. 
in the earlier stages of the game, these options must be selected in order to gain the opportunity to set out on the corresponding mythic path. Once your mythic path is set, unique alternatives inaccessible to other mythic paths will become available to you. Yes, it's time to whip it out. How you doing, Skulldrock? Okay, is there someone, um... Is there someone else from the surface here? I will help you find the lost mongrels in the maze, but you can quit hoping for a magical sword to appear. Lawful requires angel mythic path. Reveal the light of the heaven. Land speaks the truth. We're chaotic. Land is mistaken. We didn't find the word. Oh, you could totally throw land under the bus here, which I'm not going to do. Um, can I, I, what I, what I never know is I wish there was a little symbol knowing uh, if this is like if i choose these does that like preclude me from choosing this one or not yeah i think i'm gonna just go right for it land speaks the truth i'll show it to him excuse me while i whip this out the heavenly flame flares to life at your unspoken command bright pure dancing with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam passing through stained glass the mongrels abandon their tasks and stare transfixed <gasps> the light is bright but not blinding it is warm but its warmth is so deep you've performed a lawful action sol is silent for a while tears are streaming down his wide pale face but the old man doesn't even care to wipe them away so it is true the angel did not forsake us no he came back from the dead he came to save our children lamb gives you a nod of thanks the scaled half of his face is indifferent but the human half is visibly relieved as if he wasn't sure all this time that you would support him wenduag hisses at you like an angry cat <sighs> see these fishermen and these hunter hunters these husks of men and women, their blood will be on your hands. We have the blessing of angels. We will survive and help the young tribesmen. I'm not responsible for others' decisions. Say nothing. I'm going to say that we have the blessing of angels. Idiot, you see a bright light and now you think even the maze is no match for you. You always think the worst, Wendu. We're not on our own in this anymore. We've got allies. Well, a couple at least, but one good fighter's worth ten bad ones. You have the right of it, lad. We're, we were neithers. We were going to wait. I sent a messenger to summon all the tribish. It will take time, yes, but they will all come. They will all come for the light. Wait, lad. Wait, uplanders. Rest a while with it, one of our huts. Our home is your home. It's literally Sean Connery. Sean Connery here. All right, Chief, understood. Let's hope that in a few hours isn't the difference between life and death for those kids. If they ask me what took us so long, I'll tell them it was your decision. You thought the Chief was going to turn into Sean Connery for a second there? Do you see how they write his dialogue, though, right? Everything, every S is a shush, 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 shush. When do I only grits her teeth in silence? Combat victories and other achievements give you experience. But oh, we all leveled up. This is the rest of our stream. They give us the thousand points for that. Oh God, the first level up. Should be excited about it. Okay. Blood Rager Primalist. You can see those two being difficult to have in the party at the same time. Yes. Yeah. I think they would you would you would pretty much pick one or the other. Several hours later. Alright, so Blood Rager. At level two, we get uncanny dodge the character can react to danger before her senses would normally allow her to do so she cannot be caught flat-footed nor does lose her dex bonus to ac if the attacker is invisible she still loses her dex bonus to ac if immobilized okay
we get two skill points. Only two per level? Interesting that Sila actually has Persuasion. But my character's got it too, so I'm gonna go with Persuasion. Um... Oh, I get I get penalties because of my scale mail here. Shame in a way though, they're really interesting characters. I kinda well Yeah, I mean they definitely have uh the evil root, right? Um, having only two skill points is so rough. I don't want to miss anything. I, I feel like there's other people that are good at this, right? This is based on, perception is based on wisdom, which is pretty weak for my character. So let's, let's go with athletics then. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rely on somebody else to be uh, perception. That int nerf hurts. Yeah, well, that's that's from from what I've read, blood rangers are really strong. The problem is they don't have a dump stat. There's no stat you don't need. You can't just be like, oh, I don't I don't need strength on this character or whatever. Motorhead, have I uh, noticed any bugs or annoying glitches? A little bit of like stuttering in the very, very beginning when there was a whole bunch of people on the screen, but other than that, no. Nope, nothing so far. Okay. Um, and that's it? Oh, that's an easy level. That was good. Cody says, do they need intelligence? A blood rager? So here, here's here's my stats, right? Obviously, uh, intelligence and wisdom, I didn't put much in. I did I did put some points into intelligence because um, it started as an eight because my race gave me a minus two to intelligence. The reason, reason a lot of characters want um, to have intelligence because your skills Right, where do I, I'm still I'm still figuring out how to navigate these menus, so give me a second here. The um, here they are, the skills. The Blood Ranger has um, a lot of skills that are uh, class skills, so I would want to level up. Like if I had like a ton of points, I would want perception, I would want persuasion, I would want athletics and mobility. Uh, athletics and, uh, yeah, athletics and mobility. And then maybe even, like, knowledge of, uh, nature or whatever. Um, but I'm only getting two skills per level right now because my intelligence is low. But they pretty much need everything. All right, let's level up our paladin. I wish you could, um, they'll give you, well, let's just go through it. I, I was gonna say, that instead of putting on automatic leveling, for my NPCs, I wish they told me what they recommend here and have me confirm them. Yeah. Okay. So she gets three points. Um. Where's her stats? Okay. Can I not like see her stats somewhere? Rely on me. 
So she has a 16 strength, her charisma's 15, wisdom 13. Okay. So at second level, she gets lay on hands. Nice. So she can heal wounds by touch each day. She can heal a number of uh, times equal to half her paladin level, which is one, plus her charisma modifier. Okay. And she gets divine grace. A paladin gains a bonus equal to her charisma on all saves. That's pretty nice. She's been trained, tra trained in knowledge world. That's an intelligence stat, which is not great. And her wisdom's a plus one. I'm not gonna have much of the knowledge and lore stuff, am I, with these characters? Um, see, I'm already seeing a gap. Like, who's gonna be? Who's gonna have perception? I guess Lan can. Yeah, look at this. Knowledge world, no one's got anything. Knowledge arcana. All right, we're going to need wizards. We need some wizardy people. Three points. Guess we can keep going with the persuasion. I don't know if that's a wasted point or not. Um, I'll do one in knowledge world. And... Eh, we'll go there. Okay, this is just a summary of what we've gotten. Lay out of hands, lay out hands self, lay out hands other. Okay, complete. Spirit Hunter. Yeah, see, I don't know how to level up a shaman at all. We'll do our best. Um, at level two, Hex. A shaman learns a number of, number of magical attacks called Hexes, which grant her powers or weaken foes. Second level, a shaman learns one Hex. Fourth, eighth, tenth, twelfth, blah, blah, blah. They learn new ones. A shaman, a shaman can select from any of the Hexes available to her chosen spirit. A shaman cannot select a Hex more than once unless otherwise noted. Okay, and she's already got simple weapons, light armor, medium armor, object bond. A bonded object can be used once per day to restore any one spell that the shaman had prepared for this day. Really? And spirit enhancement. Okay. Two skill points. Stealth and trickery. Plus four decks, plus three, that's a class. All right, let's, we'll make her our trickery person for now. Object bond may replace the familiar. Yeah, I know nothing about shaman. Um, maybe she can be our trickery person? Cause I'm not gonna keep Wenduag. Uh, And then, see, I don't know who else we're getting either. <clears throat> Stealth. She's wearing a chain shirt. I'm going to give her one of the lures as well. We'll send her down the... Or nature path, sure. Now we have to pick a hex, and I don't know any of these. You guys have recommendations? What kind of hex? Do we get one of these?
You took healing. Slumber is a good one. A shaman can cause a creature within 30 feet to fall into a deep magical sleep as per the sleep spell. The creature re uh, receives a will save to negate. If the spell fails, the creature falls asleep for a number of rounds equal to the shaman's level. Okay. Uh, Motorhead, by the way, thanks for following. And uh, KMB Golf, thanks for following. Slumber or healing? Okay, where's healing? Acts as a cure light wound spell. Doesn't she already have cure light wounds? Evil Eye. Target takes a minus two penalty on the following. Shaman's Choice. Okay. Ice Plant. The hex grants the Shaman a plus two natural bonus to AC. The effect leaves the Shaman's skin thick and stiff to the touch. Oh my. Evil Eye can come later. So I'm going to get a bunch of these, right? How often? Okay, I get another one at 4th. And then not again till 8th? Healing is just an infinite Cure Light Wound spell limited to one person. Wait, healing is just an infinite Cure Light Wound spell limited to once per day per person, which you can cast it 500 times. What? How is it once per day if you can cast it 500 times? Well, I got her wishes to say thank you for having for 23 months. You confused me. Hope you are well. Hey, Shadow's Ambition, what's going on? You're almost at two years of subbing. Holy crap. Thank you so much for hitting me up with that Prime Gaming. I hope you're doing great. It's good to see you. I can cast it on you once per day. I can cast it on another person once another. Oh, 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 okay. Once a creature has benefited from the healing hex, it cannot. Oh, okay. Oh, the healing might be pretty good then. Well, I, I, you know what? Ice plant's pretty nice too. Let's go. Let's grab, let's grab healing now. Since I really don't have tons of healing. Um, and then Ice Plant, maybe at level four. Thanks for your advice, gang. Cassio, thanks for following. I didn't know if I said your name right, but Cassio, Cassio. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Always good to see what I'm playing. This just came out yesterday. Incredible uh, CRPG for anybody who's uh, interested. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Insane so far. All right, the Zen Archer. All right, second level. Oh, he's getting a lot of stuff. Way of the Bow, a second level. A Zen Archer gains weapon focus as a bonus feat with one type of bow. Sixth level, the monk gains weapon special. Okay, whoa. And we get a bonus feat. I'm, I'm going to need your help, guys. Help me build a Zen Archer. We've got three points. Start thinking of um, feats. Start thinking of feats for me. What does the C stand for? Like a classic or... It used to be called a computer RPG. But now it's, now it's kind of changed to classic RPG. Games like Divinity Original Sin, Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, um, Pillars of Eternity... Those kind of games are CRPG as opposed to like JRPGs. Roswell, feats, you either have left or right. Thank you. Thank you, Roswell. You, you're very helpful. Thank you. Uh, okay, three points. He's actually good at perception, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got nice wisdom. All right, he's our perception dude. I guess he'll be our wisdom. I guess we'll uh, have lore religion with this guy, maybe? Mobility might be good too. I don't know. 
hoping I'm not messing up skills too much, but. Okay. So you want the archery tree, point blank shot, precise shot, multi shot. Okay. So this is a Zen archer bonus feat. It must be taken from this following list. Okay. At six level, the following feats are added to the list. Okay. A monk may need not have any of the prerequisites normally required for these feats to select them. Oh, really? Interesting. C is for classic, Cody. Yeah, and the J for Japanese. Yeah. It used to be called... You can you can look up uh, history of CRPG uh, in Google. It'll tell you about it. It used to be called computer RPG, which like was made for like computer games versus the console RPGs which a lot back way back in the day were mostly like JRPGs. But now calling something a computer RPG is a little silly because both classic RPGs and JRPGs are on all different platforms, right? So, yeah. Precise shots we can fire into melee. Yes. Yes, we don't get the minus four to attack roll. I in, in Pathfinder Kingmaker, I took a little too long to get this with uh, what was her name? I forget the one that becomes an arcane archer. I took a little too long to get that. And it was very frustrating. So yeah, right away we get that, and then we're gonna do way of the long bow or way of the short bow. Long bow, right? Longbow's better damage. Short bow has movement stuff, you believe? I'm gonna go with longbow. Let's do damage. Okay. All right, that wasn't so bad. Thank you for helping me once again. And last but not least, the person that's probably not gonna be in our party very long. Isn't it? It's odd that she's a fighter. Which I really actually don't need in this group. I'm just gonna, you know what? We're gonna go down, uh, we're gonna go for a level of rogue. She looks, she looks kind of roguey, doesn't she? Five points, holy crap. We need some spellcasters is what we need. All right, mobility, trickery, stealth. Uh, oh, I ran out of points. There we go. You choose Slayer, it's like a better rogue. Oh, yeah. Lots of skills are missing. They only put, I, I think they only put uh, the skills in the game that, uh, or would actually do something in the game. All right, so fight a rogue. And now we got sneak attack. Okay, we made it through leveling up. Oh my God. All right, let's see who, what we can do. Talk to the Mongols. Do they say anything? Our clan says it's kind of sad, but Rogue and Pathfinder is just not good. Alchemist, Vivisectionist is Rogue. But yeah, that, there's a lot of that that happens in Pathfinder. For, you know, from what I was reading, just trying to figure out what my party was. There's a lot of... There's so many, there's so many character choices you can make that it's hard to keep it all balanced. And some of the, like the default classes, like Barbarian or... Uh, rogue, they become more obsolete compared to the other ones. But you know what? You don't have to pre-choose every little stat along 20 different levels and maximize every... Just, you know, enjoy the flavor of who you are and what you do and try not to get wrapped into that. And I'm trying... I'm, I'm saying that trying to advise myself more than anyone out there because <laughs> I get caught in that trap sometimes. And I know I enjoy it better when I don't. Um, 
Lon and Wenduag are always dragging back trash from the caves. No offense. Untaken. Can I steal their loot? I have the light of the angel in my hand, but this hand steals loot. Okay, I got rid of it. Three koalas in a trench coat. I love your name. You just wish Vivisectionist wa uh, wasn't as good as it is. It gets all the sneak attacks, all the rogue talents. Yeah, no, I get it. Let us not hesitate. You don't want to like n nerf or gimp yourself by trying to we play something ahead. else. You missed that section with the wand. Can you show you on the map again? Uh, can I go back to the previous map? It was on the previous map. Um, top left corner. There was um, rubble to jump over. I don't know if you have noticed, but loot will show up on the map. All the loot? Okay, yeah, I guess so. Oh, over here too. Pretty neat. Sweet. All right, let me talk to the chief one more time here. Saul heaves himself to, around to face you. Eh? I want to ask you a few questions. Aye. Tell me about the mongrels. Eh. Uh, well, we're the crusaders under the ground. The children of the first crusaders. The world wound touches everyone. Look at us. We are all marked by it. The uplanders didn't like it. They drove us down here. But we have a secret. We're waiting. When the shield maze falls and ish the end of our lives down here, we will go up to the surface to fight. Until then, we don't. Our place is here. Hi, I'm calling about your vehicle's extended warrior again? I thought we just renewed that. But now we have all seen the light of heaven. Now we can go. What other shine do we need? We must fulfill our crusader duty. Tell me about Wenduag. Ah, Wenduag, our beauty, our huntress. Who is more skilled than Wenduag? There are braver fighters, yes, but brave doesn't mean skilled. Wenduag is the only one to go into the maze and come out again. The others listen to everything she has to say. Tell me about Lan. Lan. Saul makes a vague gesture. He's not one of us. Not one of us. His father was one of us, but his mother, no. They took him up to the surface. They ruined him as a child. Then they came back, but he wasn't one of us. A good hunter, yes. But he feels trapped down here. But he can't go up there either. It's not safe. He wouldn't last long. He wouldn't last a gong. Okay. Um. Can I just clarify? Are we Uplanders prisoners or guests? Have you drawn weapons against us? No. Have you killed us? No. Have you stolen our food? <laughs> uh. No. Guests. What are you going to do now? The messenger is swift. He... He, he'll rally the tribish, the tribes, all of them. The angels light is with us, so we will follow it. Now go rest us, eat us. <laughs> I hope he's not like a main character for the rest of the game with that speech. Us, us. <laughs> I, did I steal food? I don't know if there was actually food there that I, oh yeah, I stole edible moss. Yes, I did. Did you steal food for us? Uh, maybe. Glances around nervously. <laughs> Wooden mug. It's not food. Bottle of oil. Okay, edible moss. Look at all these mongrels. I keep thinking these things are golf tees. Like, look at the golf tees.
All right. Our path leads on. Oh. Horgus Gworm? Get a load of this guy. Finally, someone from the surface. I was beginning to lose hope. An elderly man in expensive but not ostentatious clothes approaches you. His face is peppered with several healed cuts and bruises and twisted in an expression of extreme discontent. They said extreme. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Horgus Gwerm. Yes, that Gwerm. You no doubt have heard of me if you've spent any time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for you. Your name tells me nothing. Who are you? You truly are freshly arrived in the city then. You couldn't have picked a worse time, that's for certain. <laughs> Only just arrived and the city's been raised to rubble. You should know that you are looking at one of the richest and most distinguished men in Canabras. I may not be as well known as certain swaggering loudmouths who spend their lives traipsing from one ball to the next. But the Gwerm Trading Company is one of the pillars of the city, I'll have you know. Do you see the marquees in the square? I paid for those. Tried any festival delicacies? You have Horgus Gwerm to thank for all that. How did you end up here? For a moment, Horgus's eyes focus on Camellia before his gaze returns to you. That's so suspicious. So suspicious. Like everyone else, down I went when the accursed beetle cleaved the ground in twain beneath our feet. I'm lucky I didn't break my neck in the fall, and I'm doubly lucky I didn't encounter any subterranean cockroaches on my blind wanderings, and instead came across hunters from this settlement. Although I must say, when I first glimpsed their physiogn... physiogn... his physiognomies. Physiognomies? Mm-hmm. My life flashed before my very eyes. But they turned out to be decent chaps. Frightening to look at, but able to keep a bargain. Um, you don't speak very kindly of the mongrels, even though they saved your life. Pa, kind words are for people with hours to fritter away on pleasantries. Horgus Gwerm speaks his mind. And he pays for his services rendered, not with kind words, but with hard coin. I gave the mongrels my dagger in exchange for their help. Its handle is worth more than their whole village. All right, what kind of business proposal? Yeah, it's physiognomies, of course. Yes, physio physiognomies. They're like exercising gnomes. They do uh, workout videos. I don't know what is happening on the surface right now, but I am determined to find out. You have no intention of seeing out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect. We must find a route back to the surface to the city, if there's anything left of it. You look like someone who can swing a blade as well as cast a spell. I'm very gratified to see it. A good generalist will be a fine companion on the way to the surface. You are strong. It will no, be no trouble to you. But I, alas, am not as fit as I once was. I can't go crawling through the caves playing as scouts. My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. I suggest we help this man. It is good to have friends about the Canaveras. They gave each other glances, and now she's all like, yeah, do it. Oh, money first. Diplomacy 16, 2,000 gold. I will cut it in half and then double it. Good. I praise you, Amelia. I'm a crusader, not some mercenary. Keep your money. I don't need payment to see you safely to the surface deal or i'm not interested in your proposition oh man this is why i'm excited about uh baldur's gate when baldur's gate comes out i think you can hook it up with twitch so that you guys can vote for these options and i don't actually it doesn't like force me to pick that option but i can see what you guys are thinking that'll be fun so I can at least say, oh, you know what? Everyone, you know, 60% want this, but I'm going to go with this or whatever. Yeah. The 2,000 to make a diplomacy check? Diplomacy plus seven. Make the piggy play. I don't see. Here's my thought. 
I don't think I'm going to get any of the money. I don't think they're going to give me money. I think I'm going to get backstabbed. Porcus's gaze is piercing. Are you taking advantage of my dire circumstances? Very well. We'll make it 2,000. All right, money first. I would gladly pay in advance, but all my wealth is up on the surface. Fear not, the word of a Gworm is worth more than platinum. Ask anyone, Horgus Gworm has never reneged on a deal. Deal. Splendid. In the meantime, I shall sit here. In the village. Go on, go on. Don't forget our agreement. When you find the way out, be sure to tell me. Oh, God. Gorm family secrets. Power twists and warps all who possess it. Once a person becomes accustomed to a special position in society, they develop a condescending attitude to others. This attitude remains even when society itself crumbles around them. Horgus Gorm. A man blessed by noble birth and no small amount of superiority has found himself in the unusual circumstance. He persists in clinging to his riches and power even as their value dwindles with every passing minute. All right. Good old wimpy, I know. I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. He will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. All right, I think I messed that up. I should have went with the good response. But then we would get backstabbed and not have gold. I, we're not going to get that gold. We know it. Guide us. 2,000 gold. Edot, you're excited to see the new emotes on Monday? Yes, Monday, gang. We are going to be officially kicking off September on the stream where we do a month-long event. Um, you'll see I'm in a different set. We're going to be playing... Uh, we're going to be streaming from the deli, selling subs all month long. And we're going to unveil new animated emotes from Moogle Tart. We're going to unveil our six-year subscriber badge, which is coming up soon. We'll have our first uh, six-year subscribers on like the 9th of the month or the 10th, something around there. So we'll unveil that all on Monday. Plus the sub, to uh, the sub goals that we're going to be going for and the rewards that you can unlock. All that on Monday. Yeah. Okay, so we, there was a piece of loot hanging out over here. Where is that loot? Here. Animal hide, an old smoking pipe. Hey, a crooked paw. Godspeed. Godspeed. And there was nowhere to go up this way? No. So, how does one get over here? Ah, okay. There's more over here. I didn't see this yet. Has the maze really collapsed? Maybe. This guy coming over to me? Of course he just... Oh, I thought he... I thought a cutscene was starting. Uh, a decorated scabbard. Okay. Yoink. Yoink all that stuff. Dyra.
Dyra says, you there. A tall woman with a face deformed by enormous swelling smiles broadly at you, showing off her double row of small, sharp teeth. You, from the surface, you must be tough to make it all the way here. Never thought I'd see the day. Call me Dyra. Let's trade. Uh, okay. Who are you? The people around here call me all sorts. Dyra the hoarder, Dyra the coin, Dyra the city girl. Like that's a bad thing, ha ha. I trawl the caves picking up all kinds of things from the surface that wash down here through your sewers. I trade all kinds of junk for food and clothes, but I only part with my best finds for coins. Got no coins? Forget what money is? Well, then I have no use for you. If you want city goods, you need to pay for them with gold, like city folk. Yeah. Um... 57! Eh, they can't all be winners. Man, seems like yesterday at Kazid 59 twisted my arm to help support you. I mean, where has the time gone? She would never do that. <laughs> Jay Vader, I appreciate all the support. 57 months. That's so long. Coming up on five years soon. Tier 2 resub, too. Thanks for the extra support. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you and Kazid B have an awesome weekend. Thank you. Um, Ao says, I thought this game was narrated. It's only partial. It's partial narrating. Uh, keep in mind, this is over a 100 hour long game, most likely. Uh, the main dialogue is all voiced. Side characters and secondary dialogues not voiced. Yeah. Hi, Venkman. How you doing? Is BogVO available for Patreon? I would love that. I would love that. That'd be great. They can put in a voice pack. I would read all the stuff and make it available. That'd be great. Cassie B says, I can just reach across and pinch you. Do it. I mean, don't do it. Do it. Um, Why are you so eager to trade with me? Because all the people here are no better than animals now. Our forefathers lived in the city like you. Our people love to reminisce about armies, knights, crusades, but I couldn't care less about that. Savages with clubs can fight a war. Only civilized folk can buy and sell. They've all forgotten what trading is. All right, here we go. Let's trade. What do you got? Oh, I already... Good thing I already have my own cold iron masterwork great axe. A mutated fish? This is a cooking ingredient. Purifying solution? This magical substance is necessary to clean and safely consume any food in the corrupted wastelands of the world wound. Quiver of cold iron ammunition. The owner of this quiver can use it to shoot 20 units of cold iron ammunition. It's effective against demons and fey. It is forged at a lower temperature to reserve its delicate properties. So how often can you use that? Is it once per day or is it just once it's a consumable so you get 20 20 shots okay heavy flail scroll of heroism scroll of blur thick pads Okay, 20 shots. Well, that might be something to keep in mind later. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna pick up... I don't know why. I'm going to pick up a couple purifying solutions, four of them, and a mutated fish. <laughs> it's just because it sounds good. Plus, we're going to have 2,000 gold soon, so why not? Amazing what you could find in a sewer, isn't it? I know, right? 